Hi, welcome back to the Success Portal. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about uh, taking a risk. So it's very important uh, to take a risk uh, when it comes to success. You saw right now in the video at the start of the intro, uh, me uh, skydiving and most people are not able to skydive because they are very afraid of what might happen. And on the day that I decided to go for skydiving, I had mixed emotions. So I had emotions of excitement. And at the same time, there was an element of fear. Like, what if this goes wrong and I fall to the ground and die? So there was that element. However, when I got there, uh, the instructors took me through the whole motions and the safety procedures and what I must do and what I must not do and how the instructor communicates with you uh, from the plane and from the time that you jump from the, uh, the moving plane and uh, what signals you should pay attention to uh, and what you should do uh, during the time of your descent. But as I was about to jump off the plane, uh, the door was opened and I was just right at the edge and the thought came to me is you don't have to do this you know you don't have to do this but I had committed and while I was a little bit doubtful and I was feeling the gushing the gust of wind uh, coming and, um, and hitting against my face uh, the instructor just like gave me a small nudge and pushed me out of the plane and before you know it I was uh, in the sky and slowly slowly begin to descend to the earth it was an exhilarating experience and there were some things that happened at that time that I was not prepared for uh, like for example when I jumped off the plane uh, my body just flipped like almost 360 degrees and for a short while uh, I kind of lost orientation I was not sure whether up was down down was up I was not really sure what was happening because I could see the sky and I could see the earth and it was round and I felt a little bit dizzy at that moment but I had to trust the process but as we continued to descend further down um, the instructor kind of just tapped me on the shoulder and I knew what to do at that time and I could not hear him. There was a lot of buzzing around me and the wind was beating upon my ears and it was very cold and the objects on the earth were so minuscule and that thought just came to my head was like, I just want to go get to the ground right now. I just want my feet on the ground. And at the same time, I wanted to enjoy the experience. So a lot of things were going through my mind. But why am I using this analogy today is uh, when you skydive, it's a risk. I mean, the guys will tell you that um, they have got safe checks and balances. They've got safety measures, things to protect you. And they've got even told me that um, we were going to use one parachute to come down. But you also had a backup parachute in case the first parachute did not open up. So there were so many things that were set in place to kind of uh, protect us. Uh, if things should go wrong and he was also uh, he also had a lot of experience in this he'd done so much uh, skydiving adventures so that was also um, there was also a safety measure in that place however there was a thought that did come to my head that I do not know how to open up a parachute and how to navigate uh, to the ground, you know, safely uh, using a parachute. And should my instructor suddenly have a fainting spell or should he have a myocardial infarction or an inadvertent event of having a stroke, I would have basically have been stuffed because I would not have been able to get myself down to the ground. And that is one risk that I could not completely eliminate. Though there were checks and balances, at the end of the day, I was willing to take the risk. What am I saying from all of this is, I'm not saying just go and engage in risky behavior, but I want to tell you something that in life, unless you take a risk, your life will remain at the same level. 
unless you actually step out like what i did to actually step out of the plane i would not have had that experience exhilarating experience and most people they want to live life from a comfort zone they want to be comfortable uh, they don't want to move into a place where they are challenged and some people are also lazy they want to do what everybody else has done they're not uh, willing to take the risk and do something that nobody else has done before they just want things to be delivered to them on a platter but if you desire to succeed and if you desire to excel in your field to do something that is unique you have to be willing to step out you have to be willing to take a risk one of my mentors said that in life for something big to happen to you you actually have to step out and burn some bridges uh, some of you need to burn some bridges where you get to the stage where you're like, I commit to this and there's absolutely no going back. The day on that time that I jumped off the plane, that was September 24, 2021, and I left that plane, there was literally no going back. I, there was no way I could get back to the plane and say, I made a mistake. I made the wrong choice to embark on this skydiving uh, uh, trip. There was no way of going, getting back. The moment I jumped off the plane, it was a place of no return. If anything happened that was um, terrible, there was no way of going back because the force of gravity had begun to take its uh, effect and we were getting pulled further and further down to the earth. The only way was to navigate safely and use the proper techniques of skydiving in order to ensure a safe landing. All in all, you need to take a risk if you're going to succeed. However, it's important to mitigate the, uh, the chances of having a catastrophe. And I've said this before in other videos, if you want to mitigate failure, you need to have a reference point and you need to have mentors in your life. People who have walked the path that you are walking on and they've gone ahead of you, who can help you from making the same mistakes. Reading books and even watching YouTube videos like this one is going to help you save yourself from making mistakes that others have made. So getting information, getting guidance will mitigate failure and will reduce the amount of risk that you have to carry. People are often afraid to take a risk because when you take a risk, there's always a margin or there's always a, a chance that you might fail. There's always a chance that you might be disappointed. But I want to tell you that unless you take a risk, you may not be able to get to your fullest potential. One of the amazing and world known uh, speakers of our time, motivational speakers, life strategist Jim Ron said that you should not be afraid to take a risk. And I'm paraphrasing. He said that uh, life itself is a risk because you're not going to come out of this life alive. So each and every day is a risk. Each and every day you walk out of your house is a risk. But life itself is a risk. So you're not taking a calculated risk. You are doing yourself a disservice. It's important to stand up, take a risk, walk out of your door, do something, get out of your closet, uh, get out of your place of uh, being comfortable, walk out there, get out of the boat, walk on the water, and you will be surprised what you'll be able to achieve and what you can potentially become in this life. Thank you so much for listening to me. This is Dr. Franklin, Life Strategist on the Success Portal, and I hope to see you again in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.